So we have now our numbers. We know we need to, we need to hold as a manager, as a CEO, we need to hold 20% of our leads convert into marketing qualified leads. For marketing qualified leads, 40% need to train or transform into sales qualified leads. And from sales qualified leads, we do 40% again to actual sales. Now we have a number based framework where we can hold people accountable, we can hold departments accountable, and we can set standards by which we can measure and say, look, you know, there's always that old battle between sales and marketing. Sales says, hey, I, uh, we're not getting any quality leads the MQLs that you're passing over are crap, right? Well, what you, the CEO, then can do is come in and, and focus at that point and say, do we have a sales problem or do we have a marketing problem? Well, it ends at sales, right? At the end of the day, that's what matters, not the marketing. So we have to start with sales. Now you can review your sales calls, your sales presentations, are your salespeople, or even yourself, because I know you're probably doing both, um, you know, are you following the process? Do you have scripts? Are you asking for the close? Let's diagnose your sales process, get that tuned up and working to where you are closing 40%. And if that works good, then we can now look to marketing and say, look, sales isn't broken. We're getting the wrong leads or we're getting the right leads or whatever. But the idea is you need these baseline numbers from which you can start building upon. They're the standards by which you build your company. All right. So that's the first step. Now, what you're saying is, all right, and this goes to my point earlier that 99% of your problems have nothing to do with marketing. What about the marketing? How do we go get these and sort the leads from the MQLs? Um, that's what we're gonna talk about next, the actual marketing. So the problem as we started, you know, is, is how, do you, how do you know what marketing to do. I mean, if you look, you have everything, everyone, I love SEO. Everyone starts with SEO. Um, there's Instagram, social networks, TikTok, email marketing, uh, event marketing, direct mail, offline, online. Again, you're totally overwhelmed. What do you do? How do we make decisions on where to invest your limited funds? You only have so much time, money, and opportunity where and which one of these are you going to put your money on? How are you going to place your bet? That's what I want to show you how to do next. So if we think about this, we kind of talked about this process, right? Where we know we're, we're trying to get out of the gate. We need nine sales per month, right? And from that nine sales, we need 23 sales qualified leads. From here, we need 57 marketing qualified leads. And from here, we need 281 leads. Okay, does this make sense? So here is, here's our numbers dashboard that we begin with. And this, as you, the founder, um, this is where you need to start. And again, these numbers will be dynamic, they'll be flexible, um, but the idea is you have to have this a benchmark, doesn't mean this benchmark, but a benchmark by which you can measure and make decisions upon, okay? So if we, if we look at this now, this is where I was saying before is how do you distinguish between whether you have a marketing issue or a sales issue. Well, remember over here, we wanted to convert at a 0.4% uh, sales closing rate, and then we have a 0.4% uh, marketing conversion rate, and then a 0.2% uh, lead conversion rate. Make sense? So I just wanted to give you a visual representation of this because what we're doing is in marketing, we are just basically creating a flow uh, that proceeds this way, but you as the manager, you need to look at it backwards and say, hey, does everything work from the end result forward? Because I'm sure you're the kind of marketer that would rather make, or the kind of entrepreneur that would rather make money today than tomorrow or next month or next year. So we need to focus on the sales today and tomorrow and look and start diagnosing this for lack of a better word, this funnel and figure out where is it broken. So are you getting the sales? Are, do you have a sales problem or a marketing problem? Let's start there. So I want to focus on marketing. I'm not, I'm not the greatest sales trainer. I'm a marketing guy. So let's, let's jump into that a little bit. Um, 
And I want to start with this idea of what is marketing. Again, in marketing, most people can't even define what marketing is. It's everything from your website to how you answer the telephone, do your employees wear uniforms, that's marketing. Um, your business card is marketing. Um, your customer service, believe it or not, is marketing. So marketing is this infinite world. And what I'm, what I'm trying to help you do is, get a, is to make it simple is like clear out the clutter and let's just think about this in very simple building blocks and terms. So for all marketing, I don't care if you're talking about online or offline or direct mail or billboard advertising, really doesn't matter. Marketing can be broken up into two ideas, two buckets. The first is called traffic, right? You have to get eyeballs. That's marketing's job. And then the second, is conversions and if we can put all of our marketing activities into one of these two buckets this again is going to help us as an executive and c-level decision maker where where do we need to focus and what do we need to invest in so does that stand clear whether it's um let's say you're evaluating um going to a trade show I have a client we we're working with currently who's at a trade show today. As a matter of fact, there's the traffic, the amount of people that are in that trade show, that's the traffic part of the equation. And he doesn't have much influence there, so there's not much you can do with traffic. So now he can focus his attention on the conversions. What does his booth look like? What are the incentives to get people into the booth? What happens once someone's in the booth? What happens with the lead flow after that? So that really falls all in the conversions bucket. And it doesn't matter what strategy you're pursuing, whether it's offline, online, social media, blog, SEO, blah, 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 blah. Um, it is always about traffic and conversions. So this is the tip of the pyramid or the maybe it's the reverse. Maybe it's the foundation of all your marketing, at least how to think about it. Okay.